what does this graph tell us? First, the demand and supply curves intersect at a price of 7 Rand to the US dollar. That makes the equilibrium price. But what happens if the price of the US dollar is less than 7 Rand? At 6 Rand, for instance, there's an excess demand for dollars, and an excess will push the price back up. If the price of a US dollar is more than 7 Rand, perhaps 8 Rand to the dollar, demand will drop. There's an excess supply of US dollars. And this excess supply will force the price down. In this market, the forces of supply and demand will ensure that the price of a dollar will always return to an equilibrium price of 7 Rand for one US dollar. But of course, the world's a volatile place. Political and economic twists and turns make it also unpredictable. And this equilibrium price will not stay like this for long. In fact, the dollar exchange rate changes on a daily basis. So we also need to look at what happens if there's a change in the overall supply or demand for US dollars. So let's look first at what happens if there's an increase in the overall demand for US dollars. Remember, this means a rightward shift of the demand curve caused by non-price factors. Let's assume the South African economy is growing and firms need to import more capital goods from America. Now, if the demand for US dollars increases, the demand curve shifts to the right and a higher price is set where this new curve intersects with supply. South Africans now have to pay more rands for each dollar. Depending on where you sit, the dollar is either appreciated against the rand or the rand is depreciated against the US dollar. Now, what happens if the supply of US dollars increases? Well, we see a rightward shift of the supply curve caused by a change in any of the non-price supply factors. Let's assume that the US starts to import more South African goods. Perhaps their economy is recovering or they've had a bad farming season and need more produce. This shifts the dollar supply curve to the right, cutting the demand curve at a lower price. The price of the US dollar has decreased or it has depreciated against the rand. Let's look at a couple of examples in terms of depreciation 